this is my first video in the Mastering ROS tutorial set. At this point, I assume that you've learned some basics and that you understand the concepts of ROS and how ROS handles uh, packages, nodes, topics, messages. And I'm just going to do a really quick overview. So to me, ROS is an underlying framework, which I use uh, primarily for communication between nodes. It's also great for simulation and debugging. It's a very powerful framework, uh, which I recommend if you're going to be doing robotics coding. So here I have a quick example with three nodes represented as rectangles. So I have a sensor.c++, which is maybe publishing something like a laser data topic. I have a user input node, which is publishing like an on-off topic. And then I have a motor driver node, which is subscribing to those two topics and using them to uh, decide whether to drive or not drive the motor. And so the idea here is that Ross is giving us a way to make these three nodes somewhat independent except for the topic. So what I can do is I can get rid of my sensor.c++ node, delete it, and maybe replace it with a you know, sensors.version2 or a sensors version 2 node. Uh, and as long as I publish that same topic, the rest of my system can be left alone. And this is a very powerful feature. I can also add you know, a, another node with topic 3. Uh, which can easily be integrated in my motor drivers node. So this just gives you a very easy way to build your code and to uh, not have to worry about the communication, which can get pretty complicated in a large system. Uh, so at this point, I've been using ROS for about two years, and I now do it in my profession. And I highly recommend using an IDE. It'll make your coding much quicker and much more efficient, uh, as well as giving a very organized uh, place to do all your coding. So. Down at the bottom here, I've included a link where Ross recommends a few IDEs, and uh, I recommend the RoboWare IDE. It's the one I've been using. I've tried others. This one just has been my favorite. So here's the RoboWare uh, website, and just download the 64-bit or 32-bit, whichever one you need. That'll give you a downloads folder, or that'll give you a uh, folder in your downloads folder called RoboWare Studio. And I'm not going to do much of a tutorial on how to use RoboWare right here. I just want to give you a quick overview to promote it. So you'll just click install. And if the install uh, engraves out this window, which it did every time I've tried to install it, uh, and that's okay. Just when it gets to that point, just exit out. And you'll notice that you have RoboWare correctly installed on your computer. So this is what RoboWare looks like. So let me just give you a quick tutorial. Here at the top left, I have my Explorer tab selected. And I can see that I have one workspace open. And inside my workspace, I have four packages. So let's see, one, two, there are three packages right now. Uh, and so I can go inside of one of these packages. I can see that I have the same file structure I'm familiar with if I've used ROS without using an IDE. So here's my CMake, here's my package, here's a node called MaxBotX Driver. Uh, and so the power here is that this gives me a user interface to create these features. So if I right click, I can add a package called my package. Now it's an empty package that automatically generated a CMake list and a package.xml. I can right click on my package. I can add a node. So first actually I have to add a source folder. Inside that source folder I can add a node. My node. I can define it as executable. Uh, right now CMake has not been told anything about dependencies so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to add a couple dependencies so if I right click on my package I can edit my ROS dependencies so maybe I want to include oops, standard messages and sensor messages and again this is just giving you an overview I'll do a tutorial of RoboWare later uh, I can open up my node and instead of writing my code, I'm just going to copy and paste something real quick. So inside my node, uh, here's some code. And so I'm going to change this name real quick to my node. Uh, and then to build this code, I can just hit this little hammer. And it'll build my code. If there's any problems, so if there's any build errors, it'll put, the, put them in this problems tab. 
Uh, and I also have access to a terminal. So this is just a standard terminal window. Um, so that built correctly, uh, but here, if I make an error real quick, so I take off that semicolon and rebuild. So it failed. If I go to my problems and click on this, uh, you can see that there's this red underline following where I left off my semicolon. Uh, there's also cold, uh, code completion. So if I start typing uh, sensor messages and range, so that's great. Uh, so anyways, I'll do a more complete tutorial later on, uh, but just remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.